And how long were you with Infineon? I was there for 17, 18 years. <laughs> uh, in, in a, in a, so in a, my previous job uh, and role a, at AMD, I was you know hopping continents every three, four years. Mm-hmm. Here at uh, Infineon, I stayed on the same job for about 17 years, which right. was a long one. So I, I, but you know, of course, focusing on developing the business and the organization. Hmm. One of the challenges was that when I joined was it was a a 50-50 joint venture between a Japanese company called Fuji Electric and Siemens. Infineon was being spun out from Siemens, so they had to recuperate the 50-50, make it 100% Siemens, and then make Infineon. But uh, what, what was the issue was there was the employees were seconded from Fuji Electric, uh-huh. and the managers were seconded from Germany. Uh-huh. So you can imagine the interesting situation where I was parachuted in to, uh, to drive the changes there. And, and must have had many challenges in just, I mean, the sheer fact of a joint venture, the sheer fact of local Japanese staff, German executives, you're in the middle, supposedly trying to understand both sides, I guess. So what were some of the things that came up in that situation? Well, I mean, it's clearly uh, a joint venture, sales ventures are tough anyway because mm-hmm. they're set up because you're in the same market and you think they're synergies and, you know, in fact, you're, you're okay, occasionally you're in a competitive situation, so that was the situation. But also the culture difference is, is, mm-hmm. is in, in, immense. Huh? So I think for the, the German expatriates who were there, was, it was great because they had the relationship with Germany, the, the, the company was a joint venture, was bringing in the technology, and the Japanese staff was providing providing the input to the Japanese customers. But the problem is, uh, the, those, you, despite the German you know, German expat, Germany communication channel, the Japanese employee customer channel, both were good. The, the intermixing between the German expat and the Japanese staff had to happen in order to communication because the only communication only happens when the headquarter and the customer link together. And clearly in this case, it wasn't going as smoothly as it should have. Mm. And obviously you're trying to smooth out that communication. So what things were you doing to try and make that work? Well, first of all, I kind of, first of all, landed. Uh, the contract was signed by headquarters, so I kind of landed as, hi, I'm a new, your new boss. And uh, that was uh, caused some little sparks, both for the Japanese staff and, uh, and, and, and the headquarters, uh, the, the expatriate staff, the mm-hmm. delegate staff. So uh, one recommendation is I probably uh, have a better introduction <laughs> mm-hmm. to the mm-hmm. to the situation so i think getting trust is the worst, most most mm-hmm. um, toughest situation because mm-hmm. without trust you can shout as many orders as you want but e- each way have a way to um, not follow through on mm-hmm. and then they need to understand and and so trust ex- ex- exercise in different manners from germany and, and, and japanese mm-hmm. uh, and so that was an interesting thing. And, yeah. and what was different? I mean, if you talk about building trust with the German executives and building trust with the Japanese team, what was different? I guess it's, this is more maybe uh, you know, t- stereotyping, which is maybe mm-hmm. not good per se, but it, it helps explain mm-hmm. the overall picture. I guess in, in Germany, uh, one says, one, one thinks. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's the cultural norms as uh, well. And in Japan, there's honne and tatemai. Mm-hmm. And so... And Hone yeah. being the the facial, the sort of facing truth, and um, Tatemai, sorry, Tatemai, the facing truth, and Hone, the real truth. I well, yeah. say. What do you think versus what you say, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. And and I think uh, Germany is supposed to be the same, and Japanese clearly it's okay to say both because everybody knows in Japan is that you need to keep the the wa the mm-hmm. the harmony. relationship harmony. Uh, while in Germany, I think harmony is exercised through sa- saying what your opinion is. Yeah. So, very clearly, very different sets of uh, expectations, and um, and getting used to that was tough, not only for the staff but for the customers as well. Mm. Oh, okay, so talk a little bit about the customer interaction. How was their how was their reaction to you? You know, you've turned up here and uh, you know, new guy. And what's the how was that reaction? So you know, I tried very hard to become very Japanese because I was very, very conscious that um, and not being Japanese and and having studied Japan from the outside, you need to fit in. So I was uh, spending an awful time to become very Japanese. 
And to cut a sto- quick story short, everybody says, don't do that. Mm-hmm. And, but the that, but problem is people didn't have the guts to say, say that until <laughs> when I became really Japanese and I become a, a Japanese person, right? And so the reason is, 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 is um, I, th- I think a lot of people th- know that if you have an advantage saying you can identify as, as, your, as a foreigner, and I guess you'd realize that you know, mm-hmm. as being a foreigner, you get a certain li- passage or leeway, a gaijin mm-hmm. pass, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, which is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my belief that you can't take the gaijin pass too f- much because at mm-hmm. the end you are dealing with a Japanese-based uh, organization, which essentially trusts only Japanese at the at the end or, mm-hmm. or Japanese mannerisms or traditions, mm-hmm. right? So how to balance that was clearly difficult. Except I would say, though, that compared to 20 years ago, there has been a shift in attitude towards, mm-hmm. uh, you know, deep inside they still may be uh, very truly traditional, but I think deep inside, uh, externally, the communication has been f- more facilitated considerably more than than before. <laughs>